everyone. It's Liliana with the Minecraft Studio Seasonal Reads and Holiday Decor and I want to thank you for joining me for my virtual craft fair. And I wanted to start off with a disclaimer because today has been a little bit tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I knew that I was planning on having a craft fair, um, a week sale um, rather, but um, I didn't finalize it. And the reason I'm mentioning this is just for the simple fact that I have had little craft fairs before upstairs in my home, but this time I decided to use a new tool, which is called Common Sold. I didn't finalize, and I'm actually glad that I didn't promote it so much, but um, I decided to finally do it a couple of days ago just to give it a test run. And I made two mistakes. <laughs> Number one is I have a craft storage area. Next time that I do this, we're going to do it over there because this is my, my workspace and bringing all those carts over wasn't easy. So disclaimer number two, I guess, is that I will be going back and forth a lot because I don't have an assistant today. So I apologize in advance because it's going to get a little bit crazy in here. Um, I try to set up as much as I could, but like I said, I don't have my rolling carts where I have all my reads stored. They didn't, didn't fit through here. So next time I do this, and who knows, it'll be sooner just because I feel terrible. Um, it will be in the other area so I don't have to. And you've seen it. If you've seen my, if you go on my website, I have a read storage video. It's back there. It's back there. Um, the other thing is that it took long to set this up because I was working, I am working, like I mentioned, with Common Sold. So Common Sold is supposed to make it easier for customers to purchase. So if you see an item that you like, um, I have to go through every single, um, I'm sorry, I have to, once I present the item, I'll give you the item number that's attached to that item. And you, all you have to write in the comments is sold and the item number. And Common Sold will send you an invoice. Now, if you have never used Common Sold before, all you have to do is type register in the comments. And it will um, send you a link where you have to set up your account so that it could invoice you. So that's what I was doing. It took much longer than I had anticipated to add each individual item. I was thinking that I just export from you know CSV file, Excel file. And nope, I had to individually upload every single item. So I was able to upload 40 of them for you, um, excuse me. So I was able to upload fall. I uploaded um, fall, Halloween, and most of Christmas. But anything that I would, no, actually no, pretty much all of it. But anything that was like bows, the bows didn't get, didn't get to come on. Um, also, yeah, pretty much bows. I wasn't able to make swags for you. I wanted to, I really, really wanted to make some swags because I know my customers like swags, a lantern swag. So I wanted to make lantern swags for you. But unfortunately, I spent so much time uploading photos to, for the system that I was unable to to add more, more um, materials for you, more product for you. However, the good thing about it is that you'll get to see the items live. Um, it's good so you can see the, the sizes, even though you see it on the door, I always try to include a door or the, a photo of my items on the door, actually most of them, but there are a few, like some of the older items are not on doors, but it lets you see when I hold it how big the item is. Um, I will also be able to tell you the item number here, and because it is my first time using um, Common Soul, I just want to tell you to be, try to be a little bit careful because it's sold and item number one. So if you accidentally type a two and submit it, that's going to invoice you for item number two. So that's why I just wanted to be sure to let you know. So any of my fellow wreath makers that are on here and you have thought about using Common Sold, give yourself time because it does take a little bit of time to upload those items. And if you are just starting out um, or have thought about it, um, well, I guess you want a certain, a certain amount of items, but I was already, I uploaded 40 and it took me, I've been uploading since I believe 10 a.m. this morning. And luckily my husband was around so he could take care of the kids while I did that. And at the same time, I was homeschooling. Well, virtual schooling. So that's the craziness. So I'm going to try to get started. Let me turn on the computer. Well, refresh this so I can see any comments. And um, again, I'm going to go through whatever I have, give you the information, and then I'm going to have to run out of here every so often to get the items because I was able to roll the carts over as close as possible, but I'm not going to be able to bring it all the way in here. So I'm sorry. So next time that I do this, I will do it in the craft area or try to set it up a little bit better because I have a lot of carts. I don't, if you look at that video, I have a lot of carts. Each cart holds like seven to 10 wreaths on it and it's pretty hard to get into that narrow space here into the craft area. So, okay, so let me see if there's, let me make this a little bit, oh, mute myself. Okay, so.
so the other thing with this is that if um I made the the sale live through Monday night. So Monday at 12 a.m. meaning Tuesday 12 a.m. 11:59 on Monday, um, it will it will end because I figured it's a holiday. I'm sure a lot of families are out. I noticed that my son he goes to school virtually, and a lot of students were in this, in class today. So I figured a lot of parents because it is a long weekend decided to take off and because they have Tuesday off as well because of the teacher convention. So a lot of students were out today. So that's why I figured you know what extend this give people the opportunity because it's always nice to be able to see the the product right and. Um, so the uh, so the reason I keep saying this is because I'm offering 15% off of all the items that are that I'm showing here today were common sold. So when you check out, so if you like an item, it's you and you have to write sold and the item number, and then once you're checking out, you enter the discount code which is fall F A L L one five fifteen for 15% off. So that's why. I'm extending it so if even if this is over the speed is over that's why I wanted to keep doing it um, you could still come into the comments later on and type that and it will still invoice you so that's pretty awesome um, all right so let me get started let me get started because if not God knows how long I'll be here all right so um, the good thing is that I did prep as much as I could for this and I have these nice little forms for everything, so I can make sure that I have I give everyone the prices and everything correctly. But like I said, I feel so bad because it seems like I'm going to be getting up the shop a lot more than I like to do. All right, so I'm just going to start with whatever is first on my list. I did try to set up all of the harvest items first. A couple of these you have seen me work on, or two or three of the items that, I'm, that I have here you have seen me work on. Um, and... Um, like I said, it gives you a better, a better idea. And others you have not seen, but if you've seen them in my Etsy shop, that way, this way you have a better idea of like the size and the feel and all that great stuff. So I'm just gonna start with the first one and hopefully it's here. Yes, it is. Okay, so item number one, I'm sorry, item item number, see I need to stop saying that, is if you were gonna purchase this on comments sold, you will have to type in sold 10. So you would do it right now in the comments, sold 10, and it would invoice you and it would take it out of the inventory. So no one else will be able to purchase it. Okay, so, so item number 10, one zero, is this fall grapevine. Fall grapevine. I don't know how the lighting is doing in here. And I wasn't able to like fluff these up or anything because I just took these off of my, my rack in the back and tried to set them up. But it's a fall grapevine. Um, it does have a couple of pumpkins in it. Here you go. It has some pumpkins. Has a little bit of the pip. I do like the fact that I don't have the table separating me so that way you could see the items. And this one is $92 and it has 15% off. I also tried to calculate the prices for you. So item number 10 with $92 discount, with the 15% off discount comes out to $78.20. Now there is a $14 shipping fee that Commonsole is gonna add to it as well. Okay, so there is a shipping fee. You will see that up when you're checking out. So this is item number 10, one zero. Okay. And it comes out to 78.20. And even if, like I was saying, if you have to go, I'm gonna keep going through all the items because if you decide to come on later, you're able to, to make the purchase. But pretty much all of these items we only have, I only have one and I'm not really gonna be making any more. Okay, so this one I don't have here with me. Okay, item number eight. This is the fall foliage pumpkin grapevine. So if you look it up, fall foliage grapevine. And like I said, all these items are listed in my Etsy shop. It has a pretty, I love this pumpkin right here. See that? And this one is $87. So it's $87. And with the 15% off, it's $73.95. So it's pretty simple but pretty. Pretty simple but pretty. All the fall foliage colors. See, I wish I could set them all up in here. <laughs> so that way, see how quickly I'm going through it? But it's like enjoy it now. It's quick now because afterwards it's not. Mm -mm. It's gonna it's gonna slow down. So sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna have to run out and switch these out. Okay, so then that one. We are finished with that one. Item number seven. Where are you seven? Lucky number seven. 
This is actually one of my favorites. And I made this. I didn't make this recently. I made this a while ago. Um, I want to say last year. I made this last year. And talk about knowing the items, the products, how they're kind of... I'm not saying me, but the, the market was predicting this already. Look at... Do you see the teal in this? And kind of like an aqua color. This was last year. Um, and I'll tell you, all of these materials, some of these materials came from Jordan's. Um, and they already had these, pro these uh, colors. And they're super trending right now. What I love about this wreath is that the base is a painted grapevine and it's orange and then the plaid ribbons on it are also orange. I mean have the have the orange and have that have that like aqua color in it. Really pretty and of course it's all tied in together. See the the autumn? I want to get out of there. I really should get I need to get an easel. I need to get an easel. That's on my hashtag goals. Let's see that. It's so pretty. It's like, it's, if you've seen me work before, I love working with taco mesh and grapevine. But you see how it just, it all goes together. I don't know how I didn't keep this one. I really don't know how I didn't keep this one. Because I absolutely love this wreath. Um, I know why. Because I like matching things and I wasn't able to find, um, I need to make more coordinating items for it. But, see that? I, I absolutely love this wreath. Okay, so this one is item number seven. And it is a fall aqua, fall aqua floral grapevine. I know that's a mouthful. And it is $122. And with the 15% off, it's $103.70. So just remember, the 15% off is until Monday night, so $11.59. I love this wreath. I absolutely love it. You know when you make something and you're like, oh my god. This, is, this was like definitely one of those that I just fell in love with as I was making it. Super proud of that one. Super proud of that one. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Okay, so these, if you follow me on Etsy, I actually made quite a few just to try to fill up for you. I couldn't get full out of my system. So I made a few mesh florals. Where are you? Here you are. So this nice guy over here, this is the mesh. It's about 28 inches because of the way these mini sunflowers extend but they're a nice bright orange see how they stand out let me get out of the shot if you've seen this sign it's actually pretty popular right now so it is a fall mini sunflower wreath if you were to look it up again if using comments old you have to say um this is item number one this is the first one meaning i i i swear i tried to make the the numbers a little bit more not intricate but you know one two three one five eight and the system just could give me like one because it was the first item so it's item number one so if you enter if you decide that you like this just type sold one and it will invoice you again if you have not worked with comments sold before if you haven't purchased anything type register in the comments and it will invoice you let's see how pretty it's retro it's retro if you look at this right here this ribbon Oops, sorry, I'm showing it to you backwards. It's pretty retro. As soon as I was working on this, I just kept thinking of like 60s, 70s, like those old kitchens. I love it. Okay, so that is item number one. So how's everybody doing? I know I'm just trying to fly through because I know I'm going to take long. Um, but it's a long weekend. I know my son was happy. A long, long weekend. Can you actually do anything even during long weekends nowadays? I know um, some water parks are open, like the hotels with the water parks in them. So, but they have limited capacity. I guess you got to plan for that in advance. I'm not doing anything. My kids are too little. Just, I don't want to do anything right now. Okay. So, actually, I can't say that. We went to Kalahari. Alrighty. So, this is item number six. And this is a fall round pumpkin sign. So round pumpkin sign. See, round pumpkin in case you're trying to look it up. Item number six. Again, here's my, I guess this is my thing. This is really my thing. I added the mesh to it. See that? And this mesh has glitter in it. So pretty. Um, you have the, the pumpkin sign and a little bit of plaid it's coordinating not exactly the same but it does match we have a couple of pumpkins no three pumpkins in here and 
some nice, uh, I guess like warm color neutral florals in there. This is item number six. And it's listed for 147. And with the with the 15% off, yes, item number six, yes. It is 124.95. Yeah, 124.95. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, I love this one. But it's just that I don't have anything to match it. And I'll have to make a lot more. But the problem with me, and if any of my fellow wreath makers are on here, is that if you start working on your stuff, you don't have time to make stuff for your customers. So then I try to rush to my stuff. And it's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. So then let's move on to... We're doing pretty good because I had them here. I really wish I could do more of that. Oh, this guy. I'm sure you remember him. I don't know if there are any kits available remaining for this guy. But I made this one live. If, it's, if you did, if you missed it, it should still be posted. Um, it's still posted on my site, but you could still go back and see it. And this is full scarecrow wreath for front door. Item number five. How pretty is this guy? He turned out to be so awesome. From a wreath kit. How awesome is that? And he is, I want to say 20, 24, 25 inches. That's the thing though. When you work with mesh, you don't realize how big they are. I mean, compare the mesh to a lot of grapevines. They're pretty, they're so big. So there you go. Nice up close view of it. And that way, and I'll hold it so you can see how big they really are. They really are big. My husband says I don't, my wreaths aren't big enough. Like, really? Really? You think so? so? So this is item number five. And it's listed at $157. And with the discount, it's $133.45. Now, I didn't get to work out the discounts for the last ones because I was it was crunch time. And I didn't want to be later than I already was. Um, so I'll try to figure them out as I go. So I apologize that I'm going to... Sorry, my skin fucked me up. Okay, I don't even know why I'm leaving it there because I have to move some things. Thank you, Kalisha. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I got to work on two for you. <laughs> I thought about that today. I was like, I think I need to buy materials for yours. Awesome. Too fall. All right, so this is another one that I made live. Item number four. Where are you? Number four. Number four. Remember this one? Check my check my videos. Check out my videos. Love this one. Now I have to say that I made this one live. However, after I made it, I did move some things around. I'm gonna be honest, because if you look at the video, you're gonna be like, hmm, that looks a little bit different. I added more more foliage to it. So I added a lot more product. Not a little bit more product, I added a lot more product. So it's super full. Like I was beyond generous with the amount, and I moved the I moved the flowers around the sunflowers because they didn't seem very um, evenly distributed throughout the wreath. So I did move a couple of things around. So I'm being super honest. If you look at the video, you're gonna say, "Hmm," but look how full it is now. So this is the Harvest Blessing. Oh no, I didn't write Harvest Blessings on it. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I didn't do it. So it's item number four, and it is Fall Rust Sunflower Wreath for front door. Fall rust sunflower. I don't know why I wouldn't write harvest blessings. I'm so sorry. Um, but I gotta leave it like that now. So it's fall rust sunflower wreath. Sorry. I was in a rush. I wasn't thinking. So it's uh, item number four. And it is listed for 187 And 187 And it is with the 15% off, it comes to $158.95. $158.95. See that? But just remember, it does have shipping. But with the $15, it gets shipped to California or whatever. And I'm... We know shipping nowadays. Plus 40 bucks to go around the corner. Okay. Alrighty. So. Oh, you couldn't find me. Oh, hi, Alana. Alana. Thank you. That one was Greenery Market. That's 100% Greenery Market, everyone. That one right there. The last two. 100% Greenery Market materials. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so that was item number, oh boy, four. Okay, so next is item number three. So I went for some, I really do love this. I'm getting stuck to my mesh. I love this one. I love this one. Love, love, love. 
If I'm too far or too close, let me know and I'll, I'll send back. So this is item number three. Number three. Fall green truck wreath for front door. It is listed at 132 and with the 15% off, it comes out to 112.20. Fall green truck wreath for front door. And again, if anybody just joined us, we are using comments sold. So all you have to do if you're interested in an item is type in the comments sold and the item number and it will automatically invoice you. Now, if you've never used, if, you, if it's the first time that you use comments sold, just type register in the comments and it will set you, it will start the process for you to um, sign up for you to register. Da, register. Okay, so how pretty is this? Again, the aquas and the teals, the greens. Very modern. I love it. Oh, and how about this? See the sign? Look at the ribbon. It matches. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want you to be able to see it perfectly. See the ribbon? It's an exact match. And I didn't do that intentionally. I have supplies. I have supplies. I started making things. I'm like, all right, let's see what happened before. And then I found that I had the supplies. I believe that those were like two week kits in one. I started splitting things. Okay. Let me go through the comments. Let me read the comments. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Thanks for sneaking me in. Don't get in trouble. Please don't. Don't get in trouble, friend. <laughs> I feel bad. Aren't they beautiful? I, I realized that the last one that I showed, the autumn with the green, I'm sorry, with the orange, the orange painted grapevine, and this one, the reason I love them so much is because the, the, they have the same exact colors. And I'm just really, really drawn to them. I don't know if it's because they're in style right now, but they're not that bright. They're more muted, more muted um, fall colors. And then, of course, because it's they're using that aqua color and they're just, it's different it's modern it's cool a little bit retro absolutely love it okay and then my final my final really my last one yeah my last fall wreath i tried making more but i stopped myself thank god i did because if not i wouldn't i would have been canceling this or coming at 8 p.m is the autumn pumpkin welcome wreath for front door and it's this guy right behind me autumn welcome wreath for front door and it is did i see what the pumpkin one was i didn't i did not i did not i just realized or is it i don't know item number three just in case item number three the fall green truck is 127 oh no it's listed at 132 sorry 132 yeah 132 and with 15% off, it's 112.20. 132, 15% off, 112.20. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong number. Okay. That's in case I didn't say. Yeah, probably if I already read. And then the Autumn Pumpkin Welcome Wreath, which is this one right here. And it has a pumpkin sign there. It says Welcome. We have a lot of nice little mini sunflowers. Look at the depth in that. See that? So pretty i love this one and this one does have i need to move some ribbons around because these are facing the wrong way um so this one is um item number two and it's listed as 127 with 15 percent off 10793 107.95 yeah 107.95 and i don't know if you could get like the full effect of it but it does have two color mesh so you have the natural and then you have the orange. See how it goes with the sign. And then also see the ribbon here? It matches the sign exactly. So if you look there. Very pretty. I like this one. It's simple. It's simple. This is like a just a go-to. You don't have to worry about changing it every year. It goes with pretty much any kind of decorative items that you have for fall. Keep it up for like two years. And then you could change them. That's my max. My max for my for my decorative items. Keep them for like two years, and it's like okay, time to go. Time to get new items. That's me though. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. 
Thank you. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like I really, really feel feel so terrible. So everyone, thank you for your patience because this has been absolutely insane. But I did it because I wanted it to be an easier shopping experience for everyone. Um, other times when I have tried to do something like this, it's like, oh, go to my Etsy and and um, I'm sorry, go to the Etsy to check out or or I'll invoice you something like that. And it's just easier when you just type in the comments and right there it's gone. And you also have the opportunity to see it, which is awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to start leaving, which is not nice. So I'm going to try to take two of them with me and I'll come back with two. So thank you for your patience. If not, play back if you want to fast forward through them. Because honestly, it's going to take me a while. All right, so let me grab these two. At least I moved the carts right over here. And I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Okay. So I'm sure I do not have the numbers in order because I just grabbed whatever I could. I got Alrighty, and where could I put you, my friend? You up put right here. I think we'll be okay. I have nice friends. I have nice friends here. Look at that. The one on top is the same one that I'm holding. Okay, so this is item number 11. Finally, double digits. Item number 11. Really? Nothing happened? Cause I had it, I had it tested out. Oh, and messenger. So it can't be in the comments right in here. I thought it was in here. That's interesting. Thank you. Angel, Alana, Alana, Angel, that's my brother. <laughs> and that's my friend, my awesome big friend. Thank you. He was my he was my my tester my tester because I couldn't do it for myself. Thank you for clearing that up. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so let me move forward. So so everybody, register. Type it in Messenger. I thought it was in the comments here, but the test was in Messenger. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I really thought it was in the comments here. I wonder if I need to go ahead and activate something. All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, once you once you type it in, it's supposed to pop up, set up account, something like that. Regist activate account. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me know what happens if you if you do it in Messenger, because that's weird. Very strange. All right, let me move forward, and hopefully, if anything, you could just come back to it. All right. So farmhouse Halloween wreath for front door, and I'm like, sad. Um, item number 11, item number 11, and this is also, excuse me, a, a painted grapevine. This sign was actually two-sided, but I decided to keep it on one side. I, I was hoping to be able to have the customer be able to turn it, but then it was going to be too difficult. Um, and the, the sign was going to be banging around everywhere. So unfortunately I had to pick a side and I picked a side that said trick or treat. And you see that it has candy corn, it has... Um, I want to say, no, spider, spider mums, spider mums, black spider mums, has a few, uh, pumpkins, white pumpkins, and a pretty Halloween bow. So this seems to be my style. This seems to be my style. I look at my items and I keep seeing that I keep doing the same thing. So this is farmhouse Halloween wreath for front door. And it is item number 11. It's listed at 122 and with the 15% off comes out to 103.70. And another disclaimer, I did it all up to Halloween after that. I did, wasn't able to calculate the 15% off, so I'm sorry. Should have just been late, right? And I could have done that for you. Okay, the next one. What's the next one that I have here? I have... Oh, I love this one. I just made this one. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It's the Monsters. Monsters number 15. Oh, my things are all over the place. So next time that you see me, everything's going to be attached. Every item is going to have its sheet attached to it. So this is item number 15. 
and it is a deco mesh wreath. It's kind of vintagey. Reminds me of like the 20s and the old school like avant-garde design, the way it is. And it's Monster Pumpkin Halloween Wreath for Front Door. Now this one has the orange mesh as a base, a little bit of the black mesh. We have some little picks here with corn, with candy corn. Also little balls, pumpkins. And what I love about this is what tied it all together is the ribbon because it's like candy corn ribbon. Now the material isn't the best, but I couldn't find it. Not that it wasn't, it isn't the best. It's just that it's a different kind of material. It's kind of satiny. It's satiny material, but I also paired it with this Harlequin material, which is a little bit different, but the colors work very well together. So that is item number 15 and it is Monster Pumpkin Halloween Wreath and it is $127 and with the discount $107.95. Oh God, I wish I could like try it out myself. Maybe I could try it on my iPad right now and see if I'm able to, to register. You could go over here so I can keep making space. Okay, my craftsman's getting crazy. Who do I have here now? Item number battery. Bat. Bat, 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 bat. Mm -mm. Where are you? Item number 16. Oh, this one's near and dear. Near and dear to my heart. Whoops. All right, you need to go. Oh, I actually missed the Halloween one. Sorry, I'm going to come back with this Halloween one. I've gotten them all. I don't know if I missed the Halloween one. So I'll, I'll come back to it later. So this is item number 16. Does this bat look familiar? Remember this? Remember this? <laughs> um, remember my daughter with the bat that she stole? I brought it back. So this is item number 16. It is Happy Halloween Bat Wreath for Front Door. I still have one bat left over because the I, um they were so big, like look how big they are. I was planning on having one up here and the other one sticking out down here, but I didn't really need it. I don't think I need it. I think it's actually cute just to have the one popping out here on the side. But see how cute that is? Now, if you want Halloween, I know a lot of us are gonna be staying home for Halloween. Please, please, please make sure to place your orders like now because with shipping, it's gonna be insane, absolutely insane. You have to make sure that you place your orders soon. Um, I feel very terrible for the shipping companies because of all the craziness that they're dealing with. I do ship using FedEx. FedEx is, has amazing tracking and I, I call them if I see that the items aren't moving. So um, if you do decide that you want to do something for Halloween, please place your orders as soon as possible because shipping from here to California, if I were to ship this, what's already Friday, if I ship it on Monday, it will get there. Friday or next Monday they sometimes they do deliver on the weekends um, but if I were to ship this on Monday I can't ship out on the weekends me personally I cannot ship out on the weekends but I know that they do deliver on the weekends so if I were to ship out this wreath tomorrow for example to California it would get there next Saturday next Friday next Saturday so that's what I'm saying because you're already pushing it close for for, for um, decorating for Halloween so that's why I'm saying that so that's why um, don't push it too much or buy it and save it for next year. Can you ready for next year? So the bat wreath is 127. Item number 16. 16, 16. And that is 127. And with the 15% off, 107.95. Am I? Oh no, is that I was doing Thanksgiving? I didn't miss it. Never mind. Okay, who's next? That's it. I have to get off camera again, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me do a close one. Let's do a close one because I see a couple. Wow, such a mess. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. It's okay. It happens. All right, let me go grab some more. Dripping on my water bottle. All right, I can hang these up again so I don't have to worry about them. I'm going to do them two at a time. 
So bear with me. All right. So this one is item number 18. 18. Happy Witch Wreath for front door. No. Oh my God. I grabbed the wrong one. No. What would I say? Sorry. Scratch. Scratch. Why would I say that? I really thought I grabbed that one. Uh oh. Where's my Frankenstein? Item number 12. The item number 12 sheet is lost. I lost it. Nope, here it is. Okay, item number 12. Frankenstein Halloween wreath for, for door. Frankenstein Halloween wreath. Item number 12. One, two. And it is 122. And with the discount, it is 10370. And here, I do have a few Frankensteins with missing heads. <laughs> Get it? If anybody's been following me, you know what I'm talking about. Hi, Karen. Oh, hi, Karen and Karen. I have Karen, a family member, and Karen, a friend. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Karen. I used your book. Your book helped me so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Hi. Gracias. Thank you in Spanish, just in case. Come. Yes, hashtag Batgirl. Sorry, I keep getting them late. Um, so yeah, so going back to, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, trick or treat Frankenstein sign. And we have the matching ribbon. But he has his heads, okay? Has his heads. Because now I know not to cut off, you know, not to decapitate that the characters on the ribbon because I used to do that I'll admit it's so pretty and it has these little pom-poms here that match it it has a black and white has anybody been doing that a lot like you have whatever floral colors you have even with the with the Thanksgiving decor just add the black and white to it it's not going anywhere it's like a nice little enhancer to your decor so again that is item number 12 Frankenstein Halloween wreath for front door 122 and with a discount, one of three seventy. Karen, please let me know how badly. Please critique me later on. Please, please, please. I like criticism. I like. I say constructively. No, it did help, but the problem is that um, most of my wreaths are stored on the other side, so that's why I was only able to fit a few in here. So I have to keep going back and forth because I didn't get a helper. That's the one thing you said in your checklist. And I didn't do, I didn't get a helper. So the only help that I had was getting the kids out of the house. They're actually out, they're gone. You can't even hear them running around. They're out of the house, but then I didn't have anybody here with me. So now I'm pretty much running back and forth by myself. But it's okay, it's okay. That's live and learn. That's the first one. And that's why I extended the sale. So it's not just gonna be today. It's gonna go straight through Monday at 11.59. So come into the messenger, I guess. I mean, Karen, you're here. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if it's right in the comments here, wherever, type in sold and the item number, and then it will let you go through the process of purchasing the item. I thought it was right here in the messages. Should work. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. Alrighty. Let me get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. I know I had the witch I had put her down here is I love this wreath I really do this is item number 19 day of the dead wreath for front door so this one is a little bit different than the one that I had posted um, on my Pinterest I have one on Pinterest that everybody is saving but it's not the same exact one um, the ribbons are different the ribbons were changed so it has a little bit more black and white in it and they pretty much um, a little bit more focal than the, than they used to be than the ones that were in it so this is item number 19 uh oh that's wrong if you go in there right now you're gonna have an awesome deal it's a day of the dead wreath and it's 102 dollars yeah 102 and with the discount it's 86.70 102 
and with a discount 86.70 item number 19 and what i love about this wreath is that it has like in the wind you can see these little guys here moving the nice little ribbon streamers ribbon streamers you have mums different colored mums but this is like my favorite part the movement if you notice i like movement in the wreaths maybe i'll put pinwheels or something in them all right so we'll keep this one for now so i don't have to get out and all right so that's that one who's next oh my butch wreath here we have i love this one i really 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 do because it's just cute it's cute um and i noticed that a few of my customers have liked having the cute wreaths not the scary ones i've had a ghost wreath i say boo on them things that are not like aggressive like scary and i could definitely understand because i have small kids and they, we don't want them to get too scared and not those nasty skeletons um so this is the happy witch wreath for front door it's item number 18 one eight and it is listed on i'm sorry it is listed as 132 and with listed for 132 and with a discount it's 112.20 item number 18 and uh, let me show you the, the the sign it's a cute little wreath isn't she cute so that's what i try to do because of this sign i try to add all of these colors to it and i love these little cute pom-poms it's a very cute wreath i'm surprised my daughter hasn't asked to put it on the in her room which as a matter of fact my son just asked me that he wants a wreath on his room because i have wreaths on every door in the house now so he asked me like mom can i have a wreath on my door so now i gotta make him like a superhero wreath or something how am i doing are we good okay so that's that one we still have halloween yes we do still have halloween so i like wow it's right over here wow and i'm not even anywhere near christmas all right so let's get these out of the way so i could keep getting thank you everyone for being so nice because i know this is taking a lot longer than it should thank you thank you awesome thank you kalisha you're hired you're hired i'll pay you in wreaths thank you all right let me get out of the way should have taken them back with me the other ones because they have hangers so it's easier every wreath that i have if you notice they all have hangers on them because i hang them on clothing rolling cold rolling clothes racks clothing racks i have two level ones and i just put them in a bag like i add the hanger to it put a bag over it and they're stored okay so here we have eat drink and be scary now i had this sign for a while and i didn't make this wreath till recently because I don't know what to do with it. I couldn't see myself working with it because it said eat, drink, and be scary. And I did a search. I'll be honest. I did a search on Etsy for eat, drink, and be scary. And it seems to be a thing. There are quite a few wreaths with that. Not just wreaths. Um, signs and hangers. So I was like, you know what? Why, why not just work with it? And then I love how this turned out. Because I had a lot of the black roses with the green glitter on it. I use the black mesh as the base and then a little and then I use whatever colors were in the sign around to like add all the colors. So I'm really happy with this wreath. Really, really, really happy. So eat, drink, and be scary. It's item number 17. And it's 117. And with the 15% off, 9945. Eat, drink, and be scary. Isn't it pretty? I love how colorful it is. And to think, I've had this sign for like two years and I just, I guess the timing wasn't right. And I finally said, you know what, you gotta do something with it. And it just all came together. So I love the ribbons. Oh, did you see these? Like the, the color, the magenta colored foxtail. And it has glitter on it too. So pretty. I love this one. It feels good. That one feels really, uh, I'll just do this. It feels really good to me because it took me so long to finally... No, no, no. I don't do that to my wreath. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I have to get out of the shot again. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not happening. Sorry. Gotta get out. 
Thank you so much, Gerardo. Okay. Next. Look at that. Look who just came on to say hello. And look what I have in my hand. Just your style. Um, <laughs> thanks, eh? So this is item number 14. One, four, 14. And it is a Black Manor Halloween wreath. It is listed for $87. And I did not do the math. 15% off, 15. What is it? Eight, four, $12 off? 87 minus 12? 75? I think, don't quote me on that, but I think that's my quick math. So it's made on a red painted grapevine. But what's cool about this is that it also has like, I don't know if you can see it, but it has glitter. It was painted with red glitter as well. So if you look at the florals as well, you have the black mums that have lace in them. They actually have lace in them. Then these black foxtails also have glitter in them. So it just looks like that romantic, scary manner wreath feel. And then the sign, oh, you could definitely see the glitter in that one, the beware. Did you see the bow though? All the lace in it? That's pretty. I would keep half my wreaths, but you know, you can't. <laughs> and this one isn't something, isn't something with, now with kids that wouldn't decorate with this one. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. There's lace everywhere in this one. If you're into that kind of thing. I have a few friends that I know would definitely love that. Right, A? It didn't work. Oh, no. So I missed something. I didn't do something. Ah, I'm so upset now. And I can't even do it right now. I wish I could do it as I'm working with you. Uh, hold on. Hmm. That's not good. That is not good. My setup says that it's connected. Do I need to enable web store? No. It says Facebook is complete. Wow. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'll keep going, and then at the end, if you do decide that you like somebody, if you, something, you could just come back and look at it. Um, and, and the comments should work. Oh, that's so upsetting. But hopefully I could be able to, I'll, um, I'll be able to fix it soon. I did all this. That's it. It's connected. Mm -mm. All right, I'll keep going. And then we'll figure it out afterwards. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll keep going. And I'll send an email to everyone. I'll send a message. I'll keep it up just in case if you're interested in looking at something else afterwards. If you're interested in coming back and doing it there. You need that one in your life. Oh, I need to connect the live? No, I didn't. No. There you go. There's my teacher. Oh, man. I missed a step. I missed a step. Never mind. Okay. That's why. I thought that I just, it was already connected to my, what I assumed was that if it was already connected to my Facebook, it would automatically do that. All right. I'm sorry. I guess we can't do it now because we're already in it. Already. Okay. Next time. First time's hiccups. I'll just keep going. All right, in worst case, I'll just create a second live afterwards and you can buy it from that one, I guess. Okay. Um, item number 13. Where are you? 13.
guess I was rushing so much that I didn't even do that. I can't do it now. How? I was too... Okay, I did the proofreading, but when I came today, I just completely blanked out. <laughs> so let me just... Alright. So item number 13. I wish I could just pull it up. Alright, I'll figure this out. I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Item number 13 is Happy Halloween Green Argyle Wreath. Let's see... And this is, this is, this is, um, where are you? 117 and with a discount, it's 99.45. Now, if you find this in my Etsy shop, you're going to see that I put a little notice on it because you're going to see, you're not going to be able to see it. When I received this uh, sign, something put pressure on it. So I left like a little indentation on it, but you can't even see it. Like you let me know if you could actually see the mark on it. Let's see if I could do it with the light here. You can't really see it. Um, but in like certain angles, you see like a little impression on it. But if you find this on my Etsy shop, I, I put that in there because I like to be super, super transparent. But anywho, there's that wreath. Pretty awesome because it has the, your general, your typical Halloween colors. You have the black, the green, and the orange. And the ribbon is awesome. The ribbon says Happy Halloween and it has pretty little pumpkins. And it also has the, oh my god, I can't think, drift. Nice, awesome, shiny drift. Drift ribbon. And if you didn't notice, we do have the sign matches the ribbon. See that? Little details, little details. So this one has like four different ribbons. Um, and then of course you have a few little picks around here just to enhance it a little bit more and bring it all together cool oh my god I'm trying to see how I could connect this while I'm not being too distracted hmm it's okay alrighty oh I know how no I don't what am I kidding okay alrighty so let me this one down because we haven't even touched Christmas yet everyone Christmas hasn't even been mentioned except during the intro okay so for everyone that is that just joined um, just found out that we're having a technical difficulty but because I did not connect the, the live to common sold but once we will get this and I will activate it to, I will connect the two comments old. And what it is, is you're able to make the purchase right from the live. So you type comment, I'm sorry, you type sold and the item number, and it will guide you through the purchasing process. If you have never used comments old before, you type in the word register, and it guides you to set it to an account setup. However, I did not connect it properly, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. Um, either now as I do it, but I'm going to try to go along as I look over at it. So next thing is the black spooky Halloween wreath for front door. And it is item number 20. Item number 20. Oh my God. Karen, I wish I wasn't. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is an awesome Halloween wreath. The reason I say that it's an awesome Halloween wreath is because instead of, if you have already, if you've been following me, you'll know that I love mesh. I do. I, I love working with it in the sense that it like enhances and adds, and adds like a little bit of extra depth to, to items. This wreath was made with black mesh as a, as a, as a base. However, normally I use a secondary mesh as a separate, as an additional color in the wreath. But this time, instead of a mesh, I was able to find this pretty cool fabric. It's a 10 inch fabric. Usually I use a 10 inch mesh, but I found a fabric. So you see the black and white fabric? I think it's pretty cool. So you have the mesh and the fabric with it. And there's also a matching ribbon with that. So it's one of those, it's not like one of your typical, like I said, like a cutesy one, but it's not a scary one either. It's like right in, it's an in-betweeny. It's an in-betweeny wreath. But it's pretty. It's 
it's like more for like a teenager you could say see that so this is item number 20 to zero and it is 127 and with the discount comes out to 107.95 um i keep saying discount for anyone that joined if you when you're upon the checkout when you're going through the checkout if you type in as a discount code fall 15 and it'll give you an additional 15 percent off okay my secondary i do have a secondary device thank you karen let me get it actually what did i do with it i have no idea i have such a mess today such a mess today i'll figure it out okay so then you're so nice you're here with me i love my friends i have the best 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 group i'm part of the best group so helpful okay vintage which i know you're probably like oh my god you just have to like do this or it's so easy and i'm just moving along moving along if you guys see a week you like go ahead and comment so we'll do number thank you karen thank you thank you appreciate it i appreciate it and i'll make sure that right after the live i'll connect it if not if i don't if i'm not able to do it now figure out how to do it okay so item number 21 21 and this one jingles 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 it's item number 21 vintage witch wreath um it is listed as 112 dollars, so 112 and with the discount it's 95 20 95 20 and if you look at the wreath here you have there's two of them yeah it's kind of like again that like avant-garde weird i say weird because it's like kind of spooky see the little kitty cat in there and I think you have you have another one down here somewhere. See them, them peeking out. Kind of scary. Um, and they do have these little jingle bells, so if you don't if you like that on your door. And remember, you don't have to put your wreaths on doors. They could go on walls. They could go over your mantle, go over a table, your sideboard. Just on your again your wall. So that is item number twenty one. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. After that, I could help you because you're helping me. I can help you with others. I'm gonna bring them all in as I go because we don't have room here and I have now I already took everything off of the closer two carts and now I'm at the further one because I have a crazy mess in my craft room so here's another one that is that manner look and this one is item number 22 22 it's black white black and red gothic Black and white gothic Halloween. Black and red gothic Halloween wreath. So this one is 112. And with the 15% off is 95.20. How cute is that? Now, if you look closer, I think you do get the reflection in there. See how it has a nice glitter. I can't think of the word right now. Um, the strands. So it's white mesh, has the black in it. And then again, we have that really cool fox sail with the different with uh, the glitter in it. We have the ribbon. We have some black and white harlequin ribbon. We have some bat ribbon, and then that really cool sign. It says Halloween, but this is again a little bit more sophisticated, right? It's like an older kind of Halloween look. Yes, yes, I got two of them for you. I got two for you, eh? <laughs> you and Julie right here. You and Julie. When I was working on these, I was thinking of you. Like, I know who would love these. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now we are moving on to Christmas. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. Thank you for sticking with me, because I know this is a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the sheets, and then I'm going to grab them with the sheets, because if not, 
It's going to be a little bit insane, me looking for the sheets after I have the wreath. So I'm going to grab the sheets, then grab the wreath. Um, because a little bit, a little bit easier. So if you see me here, it's because I'm trying to be nicer to you in terms of time because you're being so patient with me and I super appreciate that. But this is the first time that I do it using common soul this is the first time that I do it on this side. Um, so learning growing pains and we'll get better with it. So let me see which two I'm going to bring over. with me okay oh i did have a christmas one. all right so here we have no, 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 no. here we have one of my favorites farmhouse buffalo christmas evergreen farmhouse buffalo christmas evergreen i absolutely love this because it was made on an evergreen base and it has mesh on it so this one is item number 36 if you look at that says Merry Christmas. Sorry, I got a swipe up. Of course, I'm on my phone again. Um, it does have this like natural and red. It's not gingham. It's kind of like a gingham, but it's more like a check. And the other ribbon has the buffalo and the trees with the with the buffalo print. So this one, if you look closely, the mesh on it is actually buffalo black and red buffalo see that so this one is item number 36 and it is 117 117 and this is where i was not able to continue so what i could do is go back and forth but i don't think you want to hear that okay 117 with the discount is 99.45 i want to go back and forth with the sheet so i'm sorry just to tell you the the, the correct price with the sale okay Trying to get them out so I could bring more for the next trip. This cutie, because I really do like this one as well. I think I should make matching bows for this one. I feel like this one deserves to have matching bows. It's pretty like it's a mesh wreath. It's a mesh. Um, again, the reason that I say it's a cutie is because this is another situation, another when I use a fabric on the mesh to, to fill it in. And then you have, look at these pretty flowers there. They're poinsettias. So this is item number 37. And it is 127. It is one, I'm sorry, gold plaid Christmas wreath. Gold plaid Christmas wreath, gold plaid Christmas wreath. Item 37. Listed as 127. With the discount comes out to 107.95. The sign says joy to the world. So what I love about it again, this one, it's like farmhousey, but yet kind of elegant-ish. Is, is that a word? Because you have the plaid, but the plaid shimmers. You also have these ribbons here with the snowflakes and they also shimmer. Um, even the flowers, if you look at the tips of the flowers, they have um, glitter on them. Sorry. So it's like a nice little like chic farmhouse, if that's even a thing. But... I like to make the words up. Wake up makeup styles. Awesome. Isn't that pretty? I really like this one. Okay. Thank you. You need to come over. Come through my basement and see my storage area that keeps getting bigger and bigger. I actually need to we need to get um either I have to stop making for a bit or or see if we can get some out of here.
doing my best to get them out, but I am not. I am not. Let me put one down here. Thank you so much, everyone. You're being amazing. I am super, super, super lucky to have so much support. Like, seriously. Okay. I am beyond blessed. Beyond. Just even the patience for the amount of people that are in here as I go back and forth is... Wow, I'm lucky. So, this one. Oh, no. Wrong one. Oh, no, this is it. Gingerbread Christmas wreath for front door. Gingerbread Christmas wreath. This is a biggie. It's a biggie. So this one is mainly looks mainly like it's mesh, but if you turn it around, it is actually made on an evergreen base. So it is a little bit heavier than um, your typical mesh wreath because it does have the evergreen. It does have signs in it. It does have picks in it. Um, it's pretty pretty full. If you read the sign, which is really cute. It says he sees you when you're eating and then you have a little gingerbread man here a little cute guy that's a cutie this is like really really cute wreath like my kids will love this one if they come up that. so this one is 157 item number 35 157 and i'm trying to see if i have something else with that price yes with the discount it's 133.45 I love this one. Love, love, love. This one, I actually got a little more creative with this one. Because if you look at the mesh on this one, see that? See how cute that is? And then I have that color in there too. We have, um, the base is a snow, what is the word? Not snow, is it snow drift? But, see the mesh on it? It's really cute. This is a cutie. I love this wreath. Oh, keep hearing me say that because I do. I love them. I love them all. It's a cute one. Okay, so this one again was. I missed it. I missed it. Gingerbread. It doesn't matter. Oh, 35. I have number 35. All right. So you, my friend, could go right here until you get relocated. Who is next? Who did I bring with me? I brought. Oh, it doesn't matter who I brought with me because I didn't take out the sheet. This is fun. Nope, don't have the sheets. It's okay. Okay, anybody that's on a hanger needs to go because they have a spot waiting for them on the wreath. I'm sorry, the racks. Okay, so now we have, these are going to fall, so we're just going to place these, no, 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 it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to pause for a moment to get some things out of here because I do not want to damage these wreaths. Too much work goes into them and they're an investment that you need to protect for your customers. So this is item number 33 candy cane Christmas grapevine again this is like my typical style I started wondering do I have a style seems like this is what I like to do uh, painted grapevine again this is a red painted grapevine with a sign that says candy cane we have the mesh up top we have some striped red and white mesh we do have some picks peppermint picks in there cutie 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 and again item number 33 and it is 122 122 with the discount is 1037 10370 item 122 i'm sorry item 33 for 122 okay i'm having fun i just feel bad i just feel bad let's keep going out and luckily i had all these stands here but those are like when I go to craft fairs, I set up the two tables with all the, the wreaths. Next one, one of my absolute favorites. Favorites, favorites, favorites. Where'd you go? I just had it. 
Who you are. And yes, I speak to them, I get their people. Like they hear me. Absolutely love this. This is navy blue and champagne Christmas welcome wreath. Oh, I didn't put swag. If you just type navy blue Christmas, navy blue and champagne Christmas, item number 31. And it's 107. 107. And I do not have a discount here. Nope, no idea. So I know that it's going to be about 90 something with the discount. Absolutely love this. Um, I had made a matching wreath for this, which sold. I still have um, this available. Oh no. And I actually still have a, a centerpiece that I never listed and it's right here. I worked on this. I cleaned it off recently and I need to list it. But if you like matching items, check this out. You have that and you have this centerpiece. So obviously it's been just sitting there. Um, but how about that? This is not listed. So if you're interested in this one, send me a message. Um, I just, the reason I haven't listed is because I wanted to add a little bit more mesh to it here, but they match, they match. And they had a matching wreath, but the wreath got sold, which actually hurt because I don't like splitting up the sets, but it happens. So this, um, I already said it, is item number 31, 31. 31 navy blue champagne and it is for 107 and with the discount it's gonna be 90 something but navy blue is not going away yet navy blue and champagne champagne and rose gold i actually just i sold in july i sold those champagne and rose gold freak that i had um in july literally christmas in july okay i'll be back So this next wreath, I'm going to make myself a version of this because I love it so much. And it's because it has the advent calendar on it. So if you look at this, the sign, you could actually, it's taped on so I don't want to move it off. But you could, it has a little wreath on there. And the wreath, you could move it along. You see that? You could move it along in the, uh, for the Christmas countdown. So it doesn't match my decor for this year, but I will be making a, um, a version of this if I could, if I could find a, sim a similar sign to this. But I think it's pretty cool, especially for the kids because the kids like to do the countdown. I have one old like stocking that I use every single year, whether it matches or not. They like to use it, but I think it'll be pretty cool if we use it as a wreath. So this is um, Christmas Advent Calendar Welcome Wreath for Front Door. Item number 32. 32 and it is listed for 107 107 with the 15 percent off again remember once you're checking out if you type fall 15 and i'm sorry it's not working but just send me a message afterwards if there's anything that you're interested in and i'll be able to guide you through it so that way um you're able to check out and if you once you are registered the and you type in in your discount one i'm sorry once you're checking out in the discount code area you type in fall 15 it'll give you an additional 15 percent off off of the 107. that was a mouthful that was a mouthful oh my god okay so then we're at the end i think i think okay we got that one. Oh, they're my elf friends elf christmas free it's been here next to me for a while patiently waiting it's another biggie another biggie made um mesh on an evergreen base see that so it's a little bit heavier than the usual ones that you're used to seeing um and this one 
has two little cute elves here. The sign says, tis the season. And it has a lot of like these little cute balls. These balls here. Um, I usually, before I ship out, I, I don't like to pull on these, but I know people that like to pull on them to give it a little bit more dimension. I keep it that way. If the customer decides that they want to do that on their own, go for it. Don't pull too hard, please. Please, 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 because you don't want to mess it up. But here you have the, the red and snow mesh. And then this is actually like a plaid mesh that's used on there. So this is a pretty fun wreath. Fun wreath, because we have four different types of ribbon in it as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you look at the ribbon, the dots in it kind of reminisce these little picks here. They're reminiscent of that. So, sorry, I'm not trying to make sure that I catch up. Item number 30. 30. 30. And this one is 157. With the discount, 133.45. Again, I like doing these because you get to see the size of the wreaths. See, it is pretty big. It is pretty big. When you looking at them online, you really don't get as many pictures, as many photos as you try to look at. You don't really get the full um, feeling of it. And I put my wreaths on doors and I try to take videos for most of them. For the newer ones, there are videos, but you still don't get the full effect that you do. The same effect or the same feeling that you get when you're watching it on the live. Okay, so am I moving again? Oh my god. I am have to go get more again. Okay, guys, thank you so much again. Notice how I keep apologizing because I feel so bad. I feel so so bad every time I have to go get more. All right, I think I should get these fall ones out of the way. actually getting close to the end i don't have many left over there i'm not even looking at the time i'm just going with it just going with it what time is it 7 33 oh wow i've been here for an hour and a half no way i did have a lot of product wow good thing to play back where are you my friend where are you okay this is item number 38 item number 38 and it is green snowman Christmas wreath. Green snowman because the sign is green. We have a little snowman. Green snowman Christmas wreath. This guy is listed for 102. 102. So that means that it's gonna be around 80 something. 102. 8670. 8670. 102. See that? I'm gonna try to hurry up. Item number 38. 38. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Can't go wrong with just a regular red, green, and white for Christmas. Can't go wrong with those colors. All right, I think I need water because I feel like I'm going out a little bit. Talking about. Oh no, we do have a lot of water. Okay, what I've been doing is I've, it's like I've been bringing more than I'm taking back. So that's why I have this mess over here. I'll show you this one. Which is, I don't know, this is there. This is neatly here. This one, one of my absolute favorites. Absolute favorites. Modern Christmas. Card Mardo, Modern Cardinal Christmas Wreath. One of my favorites. I was like beyond proud of this. But I like the bold colors and the bold, the hard lines in it. And it is a hard line. 
it's um it's a plaid but you have the black and white with the red however you have the cardinal which is actually a very soft sign that contrasts it in this case i left this the tails in here long to kind of give it that more defined look but you could always tuck it in depending on you oops sorry i lost you but i absolutely love this one also because i love this one so much i ended up buying more ribbon to make matching bows if anybody if um the customer buys this which has happened to me quite often i've been making a lot of bows lately if you follow me on instagram or actually even on facebook you'll see i've been making a lot of bows and the reason that is that i've had a customer i've had customers purchase a wreath for me or a swag and they say hey can you make a matching bow luckily i've been able to track down the ribbons the same exact ribbon somehow i don't know how um, but i've been fortunate enough however this wreath when i made it i automatically bought the matching ribbons because i had a feeling that it wouldn't be complete without the matching items to go with. it's not going to be easy to go out to target or any other store to find this exact ribbon i mean you could it doesn't have to match exactly but i just felt that as a, as the wreath designer i should do a little bit more of a service for the customer by having the option by having the ribbons to make uh, matching items for this so this is item number 28 28 look at that 28 my number yeah 28 um modern cardinal christmas wreath and it is 157 with the discount we are looking at 133.45 and this is also on a white painted base Let's see these hydrangeas if you look closely they have glitter on them the tips have glitter the ribbon as well i could actually see the reflection a little bit see that it's like impressed like embossed with like well not embossed but is that the word baby did you see that how it shines i absolutely love this this is definitely hands down one of my favorite wreaths i've ever made hands down okay where are we now where are we now So now we have a cute fun wreath. Fun I don't know what's happening with the feed because over here it's not. I don't know if anybody can see me because here it says it's having trouble. Let me refresh. It's not playing. It's not playing it back for me. Uh oh. I'm trying to see how I could connect it, Karen. I'm still trying to. okay sorry all right so here we have item number 27 27 blue and red christmas wreath for front door now this wreath was in my shop since last year love this wreath but the sign was driving me insane i even bought a different sign to replace this one um but the problem was that the sign was too big to replace this small like this long and narrow sign so the reason why it drove me insane and again i'm super transparent I'm, i think i'm a little bit too honest sometimes is that the word north pole wasn't outlined and i felt like when you looked at it from far away it got lost so i got pens graphic markers and i truly 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 sat there i forgot um that i was actually pretty good at this and i outlined every letter by hand to make sure that it stood out because it was driving me nuts I'm like you can't even see the words it got lost but I like the sign because it has Santa on it, it says season's greetings so this is still um, in style the blue with the red and the white so it's a cute wreath that is still pretty much trending nowadays okay you see me oh you still see me. you're still with me everyone thank you thank you all right, so this is item number 27. And where am I? Where am I? So I'm flipping back and forth because of the prices because I didn't do the math on the last ones. Item number 27. 
and it is 122. I thought the sheet says it. Karen must be like, just look at the sheet, girl. Yeah, <laughs> 122. 122. And with the discount, 10370. 10370. Yeah. It's a cute one. Definitely cute one. And I believe if you go shopping, you will find matching items for this. Everyone's getting, the retailers are getting braver with their Christmas designs. Unfortunately, they don't have as many materials as they used to because of COVID and their inventory is not doing as well. Yeah, I love enhancing myself, but I actually had to stop myself because I was doing too much enhancing. Way too much. I was... You know, the designer, the, the creator wants to always spend a lot of time on your items. And I've done that where I have items and I see them and it's been a few months and I'm like, no, I'm changing something. And it's not efficient, you know, as a business owner. But as a creator, a designer, you feel it feels better. And you're like, oh, that's what I was missing. Now it feels good. But those are something that our Julie would say, no, no, no. <laughs> not supposed to do that. Um, okay, so this is, we have item number 25. Merry Christmas, y'all. So I didn't put the apostrophe in y'all, I just put Y-A apostrophe L-L. I I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't put the apostrophe, I just put Y-A-L-L, -L, just because, in case somebody misses it. But if that's the name of the wreath, and it is one item number 25. So it's 117. 117. With the discount, 99.45. This is a cutie. I filled this one up with so many balls. I don't know why. I was just supposed to put balls all over this one. Pretty cute pics on it. Love it, love it. Nice little bow at the bottom. And it has tons of these at the top. All over to give us some dimension. And if you look at the green, it's actually kind of like a, like an olive. I don't want to say olive, but it's not your traditional like lime green. It's kind of muted. And that's what I liked about it so much, that it wasn't like in your face. So I really like this one as well. But then again, you keep hearing me say that, right? I like them all. I like them all. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Next thing I'm going to do is, you're not here? Yes, you are. This one I love. I do love this one. I need to fluff up these ribbons a little bit more. I, if anybody knows where to get more of these ribbons, because I've been having a hard time, but then again, sign of the times, I love these ribbons. See how they're like iridescent, but they're not, they're not iridescent. They're just, they were, I, when I say use the word Im impress with a, another layer of like a sheet, love that. So this I love because it is a swag. And I love swags. And it has hydrangeas and it has cardinals. Awesome cardinals. And let me say, my cardinals are all facing the right direction. Yay! Okay. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Now I'm so, I have to be careful when I don't do it. Um, and I will be going through all my reads and changing all the bows and things that don't have that. So it is item number 26. 26. Really? I'm going back. Oh, no, I'm not. Item number 26. And it is 107. Item number 26. So you have red and kind of creamy color. Small hydrangeas. You also have a few little pine cones in there. Mini pine cones come out on the sides there. You can see that. It's a cute wreath. It's actually pretty traditional. You can't go wrong with this simple but yet elegant and cardinals are in cardinals are in this is sticking out if you ever actually made a video about that don't be afraid of your ribbons grab them curl them wide ribbons are the best so this is item number 26 and it's 107 and 107 comes out to i don't know because i don't have one with that map family back I think the kids are back okay I'll place this one here for now 
burger. Oh, and then. Oh, I still have more? No. Down to the home stretch for real. I got before. Another cardinal wreath. Another, another cardinal wreath. Where are oh, yes. I need to find a sheet though. Another cardinal wreath. This is an oval cardinal wreath. It's made on oval grapevine. Another simple one. But this one has a different ribbon. It is an ivory color ribbon. Oh my god, now I see it upside down. Now I gotta turn that. Now I gotta turn that. <laughs> ivory colored ribbon. Um, and it has some pines and some berries. And this one is 117. Is it 117? Yes, it is. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember my prices, but that's like not impossible. What did I say for the item number? Item number 39. I'm sorry. 39. 39. Now this wreath has gotten a lot of attention from some of my old customers, but the problem that they haven't been able to, and I'm letting you know this, is because this wreath does not fit within the storm doors. I have a few customers that tell me, when are you going to start making things with storm doors? I myself have a storm door and I cannot place a wreath in between my doors. That's why I place it on the side of the house. Um, so I hope to be able to finally this year be able to work on some wreaths to fit within the storm door because... I myself can't do it and my customers have told me when are you gonna do it finally because they place the wreath in other places but they this this wreath reminded me because I've been told multiple times for the same wreath the same customer like okay did you like make it are you gonna make more things for me because she loves this one in particular this is the one that she wants but I can't get that ribbon anymore so I can't make the same exact replica okay so we're at the end I'm gonna bring these back and I don't think I have to come back and forth anymore. Or am I lying? I'm lying. Yep, I'm lying. We're at the end. We're down to five more. Five more. Just bear with me. Five more. We did it. I lost my wreath, guys. I can't find my wreath back there. But like I said, oh, I know why. I placed them around. I moved them closer so they're not on the racks. All right. This one should look familiar. If anyone's been following me, I did this. I made this one live on the Greenery Market page a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely love this one. You saw me make it. You saw me work with it. So I came back, I fluffed some things around before I took before it's final. Now it's it's finalized. It's good now. It's good now. So this one is item number 23. 23. Farmhouse mistletoe Christmas. Farmhouse mistletoe Christmas. Item number 23. I don't even know what to say about it because I know that if you probably saw me this now if it's on a door i know i said this before if you saw me making doing the live it jingles but not so much because i think i put so much um product into it that it doesn't shake as much as i as a sign would i'm shaking a lot like you have to be like in, a, in an earthquake to hear that shake but i remember when i when i was doing the live i was really excited about the sign and the jingles but it doesn't jingle so much because i put so much product in it so, um, so this is item number 23, Farmhouse Mistletoe Christmas, and it's 177. That one I do not have math for. So 17 divided by 2, 8, 8, 25. So about $25 off. How about 25? So 25, 25, so about 152, 152-ish. Yeah, oh, in that, in that area. So that's that one. This one doesn't even have a hanger on it yet. 
because it still was on my doors upstairs. I still haven't packed it up. Still haven't packed it up. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, and it's a heavy one. It's a super, I think. as I was saying as I was walking away um, is that that is one of the heaviest wreaths that I've made because it has a lot a lot of product in it as is this one that I want to show you now um, you can right there. this one another one of my favorites how cute is he how cute is that guy um, these are heavy these are heavy this one and the last one but even when you ship I don't think they should go over like six pounds you right so this one and i'm sorry if you have any questions or anything i know i'm just flying through these um because it was a lot i had 40 items 40 and i saw like three or four more to go this is farmhouse ranger christmas wreath farmhouse reindeer now this one it's a cute little reindeer and you have this sign here it says ho 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 and you have a few plaid balls here I have like two or three around there. Maybe there's another one. You also have these branches, little olive picks throughout it. And of course the two different color meshes. And this was actually another one that was made on Evergreen Base. So this is another heavy duty one. What I love about this one is the bow. The bow is like my favorite part of this. Because you have the farmhouse writing on it. This is my favorite. Absolutely love this wreath. Definitely one of my favorites because he's cute. He's absolutely cute. I think I have a bear as well to make a another one similar to this. Can't make it exactly, um, but I do have a bear, a cute bear, that is very similar to him, so I could match him. Now this guy has to be. All right. So that guy. Oops, sorry. I didn't tell you how many things. Is item number twenty nine. Item number twenty nine. And he is farmhouse reindeer. He's 187. And again, the math. 18, 9, 18 plus 9, 27. 27 off? 27. So 27 comes out to 160. 160. Okay. And I would say just comment in the number, but because I messed that part up, guys, sorry. But we will activate it so you can do it afterwards. If there's anything that you like, you come in afterwards and type sold and the item number in the comments and you will be invoiced. Um, it will take you to the invoicing or checkout process. If you have never done it before, type register and it will guide you through it. Don't do it right now because I forgot to activate it. But once I'm out of here, I will. once this is over, I'll go back and I'll connect it. I think I could. And um, you'll be able to do that. Now this is item number 34. It is a traditional plaid Christmas centerpiece for table. This one is very traditional. I had two swags that matched this and they sold. Um, but he remained, it remained. It's a cutie, it's a cutie. Um, this one is item number 34 and he is 102 for this guy. Okay. You could even use it like this. Can you see it like that on a wall? But it is a centerpiece. It is a centerpiece. All right. We're at the end. I'm trying to hurry up now. I'm trying to hurry up. Finally. Two more. Two more. I think I lost one. I lost one, guys. I lost one. I have no idea where it is. Let me see if I can find it before I present the last one so I can bring this guy back around. I lost a Okay. 
Last two. Oh no, I didn't find it. Wow, what a mess. I brought back the Halloween one. I think I'm not gonna show it. That's it. I walked right by it like three times. I had already placed it closer to me. All right. Okay. That one's dying now. It's okay. Finally. Second to last. Second to last. Item number 40. Modern Christmas grapevine. Modern Christmas grapevine. This is a, obviously, grapevine wreath with um, some metallic. This is a lot of glitter. This is a lot, a lot of glitter. Like, if you like glitter and don't mind it getting everywhere, this is a wreath for you. Because these bows right here, I don't want to fluff them because when the, every time that you get that they're in storage, they tend to flatten up a little bit. But then I like to poof them up. But I don't want to poof these up too much. I'm going to be honest. If you buy it, I'll poof it up for you before I ship it. And I always like to put a little bit of bubble wrap in there too for you. But just touching, I think just looking at this ribbon or looking at this wreath gets glitter everywhere. Which is not a terrible thing depending on where you put it. Because if you put it on a wall, if you put it on the door, I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to get glitter everywhere. Put it on the wall, it's going to be fine. But you see, it's pretty. Because you have the eucalyptus has glitter. Um, these little berry picks have glitter. The ribbons have glitter. Like it's just glitter, glitter, glitter everywhere. And I think that's why I kept it like very minimal when I made this wreath. So this wreath is Modern Christmas Grapevine, item number 40, and it is $67, 67, and it also has the 15% off. Do my math, do my math, guys, 67, 6 7, 12, 12, 3, 4, 3, 4, 1, 12, oh, I can't think, 9 and change off, 9 and change, so 9, so it comes up to like 50, 54-ish, 54 54-ish. I'm okay at math, but I don't want to lie to you either. Okay, and then finally, the last one, the last one, the last one. One of the cool ones. It's awesome if you have kids. Cool one if you have kids. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. Because another one with the calendar. So it's a cool snowman on them, on it. And you could move this. See, kids are going to love this. If you don't mind them touching your thing. I don't like my kids touching my stuff, right? I'm going to be honest with you. So I'll put, I have things for them. I don't want them touching the wreath. So how cute is that? So this is, and you guys know my kids already. You know them. Item number 24. 24. Look at that, 24. Isn't that, what a coincidence. 24. A snowman Christmas advent calendar. And it is 127. And he is 127 with the 15% off 107.95. Which I think is an amazing deal for this guy because I was super generous with this one. See how you have all these little ball picks through it? See the ribbons? It has more, it has three bows. It has bows on all sides. See that? See that? But it's a sign. It's all about the sign. Can you let me know? Be honest. Please tell me in the comments. Do you like the count, like the integrated calendar within a wreath? I thought when I started making them that it was a fun way of um, doing things for, for kids or for the family, for space. But I um, I wonder. I wonder if it's something that I should keep doing because I know that just because I like it doesn't mean that a customer necessarily likes it. But I thought it was a good idea. Julie's in here? Hey, Julie. Yay. Awesome. You missed your Halloween wreaths, Jules. So that's the last one. That's the last one. And that was number 24, Snowman Christmas Advent Calendar Welcome Wreath. That was it. That was 40 items, everyone. 40 items. 
thank you thank you thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for being here with me if you stepped out came back in all good thank you i appreciate it so much um karen thank you for your ebook i'm sorry that i <laughs> did not read what i was supposed to read and pretty much failed the course but um luckily we could come back and activate that to make sure that um if there was something that you liked either send me a message or come back into the comments shortly give me like an hour so i could activate that for you and you just type the item number and you just type sold and the item number and it will take you through the activation through the checkout process um thank you so much everyone thank you Kalisha. thank you karen thank you everyone thank you my family everyone that's been here with me watching me um i appreciate you so much this was fun it was you hear me out of breath because i'm running around and i promise next time it's gonna be a little bit better because i'm gonna be prepared but that's how you learn right messing up doing it just doing it and then we figure it out for the next time next time it's gonna be on the other side so thank you so much everyone have a great friday whatever's left of it and have a great weekend have a happy columbus day take care bye thank you